Long time no see everybody. Um, I haven't filmed a video in a long time. Last time that I said I was going to film a video, I said I was going to do one. Or last time I filmed a video, I said I was going to do one every week. And that was two and a half months ago, maybe more. So my apologies. I tried dyeing my hair blonde. This is my excuse. And it turned out not what I was expecting. As you can see, it's better now. Um, it's a work in progress. So I haven't really felt comfortable going in front of the uh, camera, but today's video is really quick, really quick. I know I always say that, but it actually is going to be this time. This is not a makeup related post or hair. This is how to never have razor burn again. I, and P.S., a little note. Do not judge my makeup right now. I went to take my daughter for a walk and it was beautiful out. It was 17 degrees Celsius and walked outside, gorgeous sunny day, and first one in so long, and the wind was mother effing crazy, yo. And my makeup was just like whoosh, like see you later. So I didn't really wanna fix it, don't have time, don't care, whatever. So anyways, getting to the video. Um, this is how I do not get razor burn anymore. Me and my husband are both extremely fair, as you can see, and we both get razor burn very, very bad. My husband is hairy like a gorilla. I don't know why, because he's not Italian or anything. He's Irish, so it's weird. Um, but he gets razor burn on his chest when he shaves it, and I get it all over my legs. So I'm just gonna turn off the focus. Am I focused? It makes, ooh, there we go. Um, so this really works for us. So how we do it is, instead of using shaving cream, we use hair conditioner. The one that I use right now is Bumble and Bumble Super Rich Conditioner. I know that seems like an expensive conditioner to use for shaving your legs, but it really dries out my hair. I don't like it for my hair at all, which is weird because I swear by Bumble and Bumble hair products for like the styling stuff, but the shampoos, they have sulfates and parabens and all that yucky stuff, so I don't like them. So I use conditioner to shave, uh, use that shaving cream, and then I use this Darko, I don't know how it's pronounced, Shai, Shay, S H I A I razor, and it is freaking amazing. It looks like a Venus razor, kind of with the grip, but it, look at that, look, watch. Whoop. It's not just like, sorry, it's not just like bending back like that. Turn the focus on so you guys can see. Look how it bends like that. So it completely bends with like your knees and like your ankles. It's not focusing very well. Hmm. Well, we got this. Turn it back off. I'm not exactly a pro at filming. Oh, now I'm fuzzy. I'll have to sit forward. Ooh, but now my face. I'm all face today. I'll just leave it on. Sorry. I'm really hyper right now. Um, my husband's out of town. I'm all by myself. So, not a lot of energy is getting spent. So, got a lot of energy built up inside me. Anyways, back to the video. So I use a Dorco Shy Shea 3 razor. It has six blades. It is freaking awesome. Um, it comes with one of those little shower sticky on things. And I have never gotten this close of a shave from just a razor. The key I find to prevent razor burns is that don't push down hard on your legs when you're shaving. But the harder I press, the closer your shave I'm gonna get, but that's not true. You're just pushing so hard that the razor is kind of going over top of the hair then actually picking it up and cutting it off. So yeah, I use this Durko Shy 3, Shay 3, nee. don't know. And then after I'm done, when I get out of the shower, I use PFB Vanish or Vanish PFB. This is a lifesaver, y'all. It is just a little roll-on applicator and it's kind of like an alcohol based exfoliant thing. You just rub it on your legs wherever area you shaved. I'm not going to judge. Um, and it exfoliates and prevents razor burn, like cleans everything out and it has been a lifesaver. My husband does not get bumpies on his chest anymore when he uses this. He swears by this even more than I do. It is incredible. I don't know what stores you would buy it at, but I buy it online. And then to finish off, once that's all dried in and absorbed, I use Eucerin Skin Calming Itch Relief Lotion. It 
really calms the skin. Um, my skin gets very irritated very easily and this completely stops it. I don't get itchy afterwards anymore. I'm not just sitting there scratching my legs for days at a time. I do use it every day when I get out of the shower and you know, building it up, building up the use really helps. You can't just use it once and then you're healed. You have to keep at it. But if I do get very dry skin in the winter and stuff, um, another Eustin product that works really good on your legs if you have um, any razor burn or any bumps is Eustin Aquaphor Healing Ointment. It's kind of like a Vaseline, but it's incredible. You use it on tattoos to heal them, um, really, really dry skin, burns, I think. It's incredible. Baby bumps. For dry, cracked, or irritated skin. I don't know about burns. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, this stuff is incredible. This is like 35 bucks for this tub, but my husband gets lots of tattoos and I have my fair share too, so it's really good for healing them. But yeah, so that's all it is pretty much. And I never get razor burn anymore because I follow these steps. So to go over it again, since I've been like everywhere today, I use, what did I put? Sorry, I've been doing an English accent, I don't know why. So I use Bumble and Bumble Super Rich Conditioner as a shaving cream. You can use any conditioner that's moisturizing. Then I use a Dorco Shea Shy 3 razor, which again, can't beat it. PFB, sorry, I have everything in my lap. <laughs> Found it. PFB Vanish, and then, uh, Sorry, then <laughs> Eucerin Skin Calming Lotion. And an extra add-on is Aquaphor Healing Ointment. You don't need that though. So yeah, that's how I prevent razor burn. I am a good person to listen to because I have really fair Irish white ass skin. So I get super irritated and this has completely helped me. I can actually shave my legs now and not be embarrassed to go out in public because it's all bumpy and red and itchy. So yeah, um, let me know how it works for you guys and go check out all my other videos and please follow my new Instagram, um, it's Lashes Love and Leather and I post lots of different makeup looks like this and this. Um, I post some of that stuff on my blog as well but I post all my makeup looks on the Instagram so please. Follow me on all that stuff. All the links are just down in the description bar as well as links to where to purchase all the stuff. Alright guys, have a good one!